so I would just walk you guys through my everyday makeup routine so I just applied the within skincare mist um, miracle mist it is so good you guys it is wonderful um, and it leaves my skin always feeling like so refreshed and lovely so I first go in with that um, and then you have to like let it dry a wee bit so I've like been letting it dry and then I just go in with like a regular lotion this one's quite thin that's why I like it um, it's also really good uh, for hydrating it just makes my feel skin feel really really nice um yeah today is monday um i'm kind of having like a bit of a work from home kind of day it's kind of a lie i've done no work um but i finished my vision board slay um and that i started yesterday with my friends <laughs> um <laughs> <coughs> Um, I'm also getting over my cold, which has, like, been ongoing for, like, two weeks now. Um, vitamin C thing. I got it from Superdrug. They, like, I think they just came out with this kind of, like, all three of these, like, serums. Um, and I actually got all three because they're actually really good. Um, so I just go in with that for some sunscreen because it has SPF as well in it finally got my hands on the Charlotte Tilbury dupe if I can even ever open it and it just sort of like leaves my skin feeling really glowy and nice and I just put that like everywhere yeah, as I was saying, I'm having like a bit of a stay-at-home kind of day. The weather is not nice outside, um, which is to be expected, but I'm just like so looking forward to it being summertime and sunny outside and warm, hopefully. And I have dance later as well. And we had our first competition on Saturday in Edinburgh and it was a really big success you guys um i was choreographing the hip-hop routine intermediate hip-hop and we got second place out of like 12 universities yeah it was also my first competition so literally almost finished this one i use it all the time because i just feel like it leaves such a nice finish on the skin it's hydrating and like pretty full coverage but not to the point that it looks like you're kicked out with makeup and then i'm gonna go in with this brush here it's like angled um and i just like place the concealer where i want it to be blended out and then use excess to like go in other areas i also want it <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so yeah, as I was saying, on Saturday, we went to Edinburgh. I literally had to wake up at 5am, you guys. Um, it was tough. I'm not a morning person, but I'm trying to be. That is one of my 2024 goals, <laughs> is to start waking up a little bit earlier in the mornings. <laughs> Um, just like, you know, be more productive. We traveled over by train, um, and we got there and we were like watching all of the different groups as well perform in all of the different categories. And it was just like, it's so cool seeing everyone from other universities as well perform and see like their ideas, and, like what they came up with. Um, I'm always so inspired by, like, the girls who do ballet, well, 
the people who do ballet and like lyrical and contemporary and jazz because I'm just like not a flexible person um and so yeah I just feel like it requires such a different skill set of dance and I always find it really cool and inspiring pretty much put it everywhere that I want I'm gonna go in with this massive brush and just sort of blend it more into my face so now that it is very well blended i like take it down the underneath my neck to my chin and stuff as well and then a little bit on the ears. My favorite Glossier Cloud paint. And it is in the uh, shade Spark. Dab a little bit here on both sides. So I like made my cheeks like this, like when I smile, so I know like exactly where I put it. Um, I really like putting it like not up here but like more in the center of my face i feel like my face is quite long so this just sort of helps to get the eyes to attract to more of my center of the face um but then i do blend up with just a wee bit just to make it all blend out and then the same on the other side Just leaves a really nice glowy finish. Pat it down into the lid and I don't ever go into this part of the pan I always just go in with the excess that's left in the tray over here and I make sure to work it into my hand and then just I lightly press down along the bits that get really shiny me that's like always in my t-zone um this definitely helps just make my face not look so oily it controls the shine and then that's it fat lip oil this is in newsfeed it's actually really really nice um it feels like i feel like it really suits and i like going as well it's just like a sheer red but then it's quite pinky as well so i like it a lot and with the maybelline one this one's quite battered because i use it a lot um but that's a good thing because it's like my everyday staple i just go in pretty lightly from like the root i like start at the root and then this side as well I just make sure to work the product really into it, starting definitely from the root of the lashes and like working it up. I feel like just you can see the difference, like it just makes your eyes seem bigger and more open. I also, I actually also do underneath, just on the bottom, just like pretty lightly, and yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna leave it here, I think, and I already did my hair for the day. For the longest time, I had it like super short, super like bob-like, I never really let it pass my shoulders, um, and now, like, well, as you can see, like it is much longer and yeah i'm just loving it this is the finished makeup look you guys enjoyed and i'll see you soon